Hello again from Tube Town. Thanks for watching Prep Football Tonight, sponsored by National Scouting Report. Week four of the Tube Town Rivalry Series is here. We move the Rivalry Series back to Tennessee this week for a Tipton County showdown between Brighton and Covington. Now, this will be the first of two games featuring the Brighton Cardinals this year and our second of two games featuring the Covington Chargers. That's right. We could have named our Tennessee schedule this year the Tube Town Tipton County Rivalry Series. We feature Munford, Brighton, and Covington twice this year, so we can find out who's the top dog of Tipton County, right here on TubeTown. But before we dive into this week's matchup, let's recap what happened in week three of the TubeTown Rivalry Series. We were just a couple of miles away from the TubeTown studios at the campus of Nettleton High. The Raiders got a visit from the Redskins of Pocahontas. Now, Coach Beatty and his Redskins were looking for revenge after a 42-20 loss at the hands of those Nettleton Raiders in Pocahontas last season. But Nettleton had the experience and home field advantage on their side. Let's take a look at the highlights from the Arkansas kickoff to the Tube Town Rivalry Series. All Nettleton from the opening kickoff. The score was 28-7 after one quarter, and we knew it might be a long night for the Redskin faithful. DeAndre Henry had a great opening night with three touchdown passes and a rushing TD. Devin Adams for Pocahontas liked what Henry was doing so much, he tried to get in on the action late in the game uh, with a couple of rushing TDs of his own, as you saw in the highlights. But not enough in the end. When the turbo clock hit zeros, the final was Nettleton 42, Pocahontas 21. Nettleton will look to keep things rolling at home this week when they host 6A Mountain Home, while Pocahontas will have another shot at knocking off a 5A team when they make the short drive over to Paragould. Now, let's visit with Larry Parent of National Scouting Report and get his reaction from the first week of play in Arkansas. Here is National Scouting Report's Larry Perrin. We had a, a, a pretty good matchup, and, and it, and it kind of played out to what you thought it would be because a 5A uh, East school going up a, a, against a 3-4A school, you know, it, it, and you're going to have numbers, and you're going to have uh, more athletes on the field, and that's that was what was evident uh, in the long run. Uh, Nettleton was just too much for Pocahontas, and I, I kind of figured that. I thought Pocahontas was kind of down this year from their normal, uh, you know, fine play that they're going to expect up there but th they'll rebound quickly coach Beatty and them guys will get that turned around quick and uh you know when you, anytime you play anybody out of the 5a east you're going to have a, a battle on your hands you, you're talking about the 
the Blyville, the Batesfuls, the Nettletons, you know, the Wins. You know, these these are powerhouse teams that go to the playoffs every year. And uh, just so when, when, when you step up from 4A to 5A, especially that conference, you're going to have your hands full with athletes. Back to the 3-4A, you know, there was some, some good matchups uh, in, in, in that. Gosnell started out with Newport. They used to be conference rivals. Now they're, they're you know, they play in a non-conference. And, uh, you know, Gosnell uh, uh, battled hard, you know, lost a close one in the end there. Uh, it was a battle, of, a defensive battle for uh, both teams. Both teams' defenses stood uh, really well and, and did a great job. Uh, really interesting to see what Gosnell's going to do moving forward. Uh, they've got some athletes on that team, and they're young. And, and uh, I, so I, I'm, I'm really excited about what Gosnell's got going on. Uh, you know, Hard, he went, uh, Highland went down and played Harding Academy. Uh, Harding Academy is just two years removed from the state championship, and, and they battled hard with them and, and lost it there in the end. And uh, uh, Highland's looking good. Uh, you know, uh, you know uh, Jordan Hendricks from Highland is a big 6'5", 345-pound offensive lineman. Uh, and he had a great game, uh, so very excited for them. And again, you go go back down to Truman. Uh, Truman put on a, a good performance this week, and you know, Kay Gartman did his normal thing, you know, and put up big numbers. So uh, you know, the three four A's looking good this year. Um, Rivercrest won big; they beat five A Paragool. So uh, uh, you know, the three three A's going to be. Uh, Rivercrest uh, is going to be in charge of that. And then Osceola stepped up and played Bible hard. So that, that, there'll be a, a, a big-time game at the end of the year. Well, you know, we got Covington and Brighton this week. Uh, both quarterbacks have put up some good numbers last week's games. Uh, I expect to see a little offensive output in this game. Uh, Covington we saw earlier in the year against Mumford, and, and, and Covington just uh, – you know, they, they fell prey to that offensive defensive line from, from Mufford, you know, and, but they've rebounded well. And, uh, you know, I really expect to see uh, these two quarterbacks shine and, and put up some points. Uh, it's going to be an exciting game. Again, you know, like I said, it, it, anything that happens in the Tipton County rivalry is going to be a, a good game. And uh, the outcome is, is often decided in the fourth quarter. So it's going to be an exciting game. I bet a crowd's going to be uh, big over there. The weather's going to be per, uh, perfect. So, uh um, if you're not able to come out and see it live, be sure to check it out on Tube Town and on, on the YouTube channel. We were on the road last Friday night. We were in, in uh, Potts Camp, in Mississippi, looking at a young running back. A uh, uh, young man put up some big numbers, a uh, really exciting uh, athlete. He's a senior coming up. Uh, we uh, have spoke, uh, you know, we watched a lot of film on Mumford, and we saw some kids there that we really liked as well, along with, you know, we've got T.J. Scott that we work with over there already. Uh, you know, we've got college coaches looking for players right now. That's that's the big thing is I'm out looking for players for college teams. Uh, uh, so, you know, Friday nights for us now are just uh, we're going to be at a ball field somewhere. And uh, things are picking up, and it's just going to get busier till we get to the state championships. As you heard from Larry, that 5A is tough, and it's just exciting to kick off another season and start to try to find out what these teams will look like this year. Thanks again to Larry for taking time this week and giving us his insight. If you think your high school athlete would like to continue their athletic career into the next level, give Larry and the guys at National Scouting Report a shout. So let's talk about Brighton and Covington. We saw Covington get shut down by the Mumford defensive line in week one of the Tubetown rivalry series. All except for one big Brock Lomax run, the Chargers weren't able to get anything going. So now Lomax, Keyshawn Gant, and the rest of Coach Wheeler's Chargers will look for their third win in a row after dropping that opening contest at Mumford. Since we saw the Chargers last, they beat FACS 56-21 and McNary Central 48-10. Oh, by the way, Brock Lomax was 5 of 7 for 157 yards and three touchdowns in that McNary Central game. Talk about efficiency. Let's talk about efficiency. Last week, Brighton's QB, Malik Jackson, 7 of 13, 174 yards, three TDs, plus he carried it seven times for another 139 yards and a TD on the ground. This game will definitely be a quarterback showdown. Malik has some dangerous senior class playmakers in Dalton Rushing and Aaron Austin to watch out for. 
Brighton, who won this game last year in Brighton by a score of 31 to 13. Add the fact that Brighton has won this rivalry game the last four years, and there is plenty of motivation for the Chargers to get it done. No more hype is needed. Another week of the Tube Town Rivalry Series. We're going to move it back to Tennessee this week, and we're seeing it all play out. Like you said before, we can call this the Tipton County Rivalry Series because two games from Mumford, two games from Brighton, two games from Covington. We're going to see it all play out and really determine who is the top dog of Tipton County. No doubt, no doubt. And we can't do that without the great quarterback matchup we've got this week. Lomax and Jackson, that's going to be a great one in itself. Outside of the whole aspect of the game, you get those two going head to head. I know Lomax is just a sophomore, but he doesn't play like a sophomore. He plays more like a senior. Yep, uh, just a sophomore versus a senior there in Malik Jackson. So um, I can't wait for that because the numbers, you don't typically see numbers like this in high school quarterbacks a lot of times with the efficiency that they're doing. So whatever they're doing in the passing game is working for both uh, Covington, sure. Covington and Brighton so far this year. Um, but don't forget, folks, it is a 7.30 kickoff this week. So if you tune in at 7 o'clock and you don't see anything, uh, just be a little bit more patient. Uh, Covington kicks their games off their home games at 7.30, so a little slight delay this week in the kickoff, 7.30. Yeah, but we've got you covered because here's what you can do in that extra 30 minutes that you've got. Go over to Facebook, check out the Facebook page for Fans of Adam and Chad for the Adam and Chad Show from US 51 Country 93.5 in Covington, which we air on Tubetown in Tennessee. We air the simulcast. They spoke earlier this week with Brighton coach Robin Jacobs, and you can catch that episode right before our game leading up on Friday. You've got an extra 30 minutes to do so. That's what I was going to mention. Uh, all the Tubetown viewers surely are uh, familiar in West Tennessee, that is, with the Adam and Chad show by Definitely. now. We, we've been airing it over a year now, I think. So we're going to, we usually try to run the latest episode of their show right up until kickoff of our game uh, each and every week. So check that out again this week, too. Also, don't forget to check out our Facebook page, brand new Facebook page, of course, um, and uh, like us on our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube page as well. Don't forget to do that and follow us on Twitter, at TubeTown. What am I forgetting? The website. Check website, out the website. TubeTownOnline.com. Has our schedule there, and also you can watch the games live right there on the website. We make it so easy to watch the games each and every week. Definitely. You've got various different outlets you can do it. But TubeTown Online, you can go to that website and check out the schedule and watch the games right there on our homepage as well. No doubt. One more shout out and a big thanks to Larry Perrin and National Scouting Report. If you have a business and you think you would like to be a part of the TubeTown Rivalry Series, give us a call. Area code 870-336-2318, or you can email us, tubetown at riddercommunications.com, or since we're all over social media now, send us a DM, a private message, something. Just reach out to us, let us know, say, hey, I want to be a part of the Rivalry Series. And it's going to be hot this week in Tipton County at Covington. No going to be great weather, 80 degrees and sunny. We kind of looked like fools last week, or yeah, I did, breaking out the umbrella you know, last week. Turned out to be great weather in Nettleton last week. Uh, we got thrown a curve there. but That's why we do sports and not weather. <laughs> exactly, but uh, we've been assured, I guess, by the, the local weather uh, uh, men uh, out of Memphis that it should be 80 and sunny degrees for this kickoff. So um, if, you, if you can't get out and enjoy the weather, we've got an outlet it for you. Watch the games. The TubeTown Rivalry Series on TubeTown. TubeTown Online on Facebook. Check us out. And again, YouTube. Check out the YouTube channel, TubeTown Online. 7.30 kickoff. Hey, thanks for watching. <laughs>